We're going to look at my live scope setup here and I'm just starting to figure out how it works. I've had it for about a month. So let's take a look. This happens to be a very popular dock to fish. A lot of fishermen fish here. And uh, this is what it looks like underneath that dock. There is a tremendous amount of, I'm assuming, dock pilings laying underneath this dock all over the place. I don't know why they're there. Um, if anyone wants to chime in and tell me why, I'd be curious. The white spots you see are the vertical dock pilings holding up the pier, and then the long lines with the shadows are the logs or I'm assuming look like dock pilings uh, laying underneath the pier. I see a lot of fish on the live scope. This is the first fish I caught off the live scope. Like I said I see a lot of fish but I think most of what I see is mullet and garfish and um, whatever else is under there, but these are the first I, I actually caught. I can tell you one thing I've learned with LiveScope and using it for about a month now is 90 plus percent, probably 98 percent of the water you are fishing has no fish. I know that's a pretty startling revelation, but the fact is I'm not seeing any fish uh, on this live scope in many, many, many instances. Which goes to my theory is, if you're not catching fish, they're not there. It has nothing to do with your lure you're using or how you're presenting the bait. There just aren't any fish where you're throwing your lure. One other thing that I'm learning is that the fish are constantly moving. Uh, all over the place. They are not sitting still. Uh, I even, um, a lot of fish swim right underneath my boat and I've got three fish finders running and a trolling motor running and I'm in three, four, five feet of water and they are swimming right underneath my boat. Oh, so they're not getting spooked by anything. Um, this, and they're constantly moving. Uh, that was a 19 inch trout and I caught another one right after that, a 17 inch trout. Uh, and, uh, pretty much the same fish I probably saw on the live scope. I'm running the live scope 34 uh, along with a echo map, Garmin echo map, uh, UHD 2, uh, a 9 inch screen, uh, a lithium lie time 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery running uh, just those uh, graphs in the front and the live scope and a NOCO Gen Pro four bank charger for the lithium batteries. If you have any questions on the live scope, uh, please ask and comment. I, I, uh, I'm learning, and if you're using live scope, I'd be curious to know your comments. Thank you.